got ourselves Elena Oro for the team too. We got ourselves Goeris. We got Miz as a enhanced with Meredith as a Fury Warrior first up and about with Tama over in the back. You know what? The, I am surprised we don't have any of the Storm Rooks as a mount that you can get like Natty. Right? Because those Storm Rooks are literally everywhere in the game. Literally, other than ride them. As, and we just don't have any ways to get them outside of just like pre-order thing for uh the expansion i feel like they should definitely add more of them in the game because it looked pretty neat it's gonna be leap meredith trying to see if you can escape drink and follow it's gonna be jaina you know if it's jaina wait it's actually jaina just you know, like the weirdest cyrillic of letters uh, uh, but, uh, but it works in big damage onto the fire mages the warrior just absolute blast and ultra is available <laughs> so oh i i'm literally uh, uh, I'm literally yelling my lungs out right now. What is going on? It's Jada trying to see if we can get around. Make a bus available. Reflect, but Meredith might just go down. Oh, the mage's fire has gotten buffed up back to back a few times, man. And they're really starting to pay the dividends now. They're actually looking pretty good at this point. Honestly, that damage is starting to really ramp up a bit. That's going to be Miza up next. I like that set, dude. It looks so good. I really wish you had like a proper raptor pet to uh, mount to work with it, but... It looks good either way. What are your weapons? I need to take a look at it. Was that a mug? Got himself a G pie. Uh, no, it's not. It's uh, is that the elemental shaman fist weapon? Mad damage out of the fire mage though. Miz is taking a bit of damage off the bat. Jaina got himself an ultra. You might want to remove it. Mates, you're coming down. Are you playing Frostfire or are you playing the Phoenix? I I can't even tell honestly. I actually can tell Sunder does not quite connect to Jaina able to escape it. Jaina not being a frost mage though does feel kind of weird in the way, doesn't it? <laughs> Breath to follow. Got himself a ring of frost. The setup. Oh, almost catching him. Almost getting him down. With the last of trick is available. Burning a trick at really, really aggressively here. Trying to see if he can kind of back into the uh, circle. But as long as you're not going to be behind the pillar interrupting this thing. He could go for shooting power. Combust, random proc is available. It's going to be Miz. Try to be very, very careful. You are playing the Frostfire. So you're using the full buff to mages. A buff to Frostfire. Doing quite a lot of damage. Look at this. This is grounding children. Doing a lot of work, though. Trying to redirect some of the damage from Mizza. Is he got himself a wall? Looking for a bit of recovery. Needs a maelstrom in order to catch up a little bit of health. But Jaina out and about right next to the guy. Playing straight up in melee. It's only a melee spec of mage. Which honestly, I wouldn't mind if that was a thing at some point. Um, like a spell blade of sorts in a while. How cool would that be? How cool How cool of an ability you could have in the game? I mean, Red Mage is a thing in fi F Final Fantasy. So, like, imagine that, but, like, in WoW terms, burrow down for Miza. Taking a lot of damage. Let's get himself a little bit of Maelstrom to catch up in the heals. But it's going to be Jaina still blasting about. Instant casts are available. Miza trying to catch up as much health as possible. But the Frostfire damage is literally straight up in melee. Just blasting damage right point blank to the guy's face. And it's a lot of damage, too. Got himself a bit of recovery. Breath immediately with a poly. It feels like this man definitely got himself a setup that he likes. Jade out here, definitely got a setup that they like. Full breath into a setup ice block onto that silence. Seeing the full army of the riders out with full bridge for Guerreras, I think it's a perfectly fine time to press out ice block. Because not only does it give you full recovery, but this allows you to play it super, super safe. Got himself an ultra. He's perfectly fine. Just blasting damage. Guerreras, Guerreras knows there's an ultra, so he's just going to back up out of there for a second, especially with the school that's down for a bit. Both of them are playing cooldown based games, though. So, Jaina, whenever you get in procs, would definitely want to get as much damage as the Guerreras. Guerreras is going to back away until he gets procs of his own. So, he's going to back away as well. So, it's really just going to be a bit of a cat and mouse with these two. Ring of Frost does not quite connect. Trying to knock him in there, but it doesn't quite go for it. Jada still got a bunch of instants. Just trying to play around those instants. Combustion is available. Do you have a meteor? You need to find a way to see the guy in place for a meteor. Trying to see if you can back up out of there. Ultra is available. I think Ultra is available. But he's going to get stunned up for Guerrero. It's an opportunity to lock him down for a second. Blink is up. Gripping him back in. Looks like there was no Ultra. Trying to see if he can reverse Blink stuff. But he might be in a bad spot. I think Jada right now, unless you get some kind of a setup. Guerrero with an AMS could not get breath on. There goes the Ultra. Oh, that was so clutch. I was thinking for a second, maybe that was going to be that, uh, what is it? The, the cauterized, but no, able to evade it, able to avoid it. Got him so a bit of that cooldown reduction. And is at least able to stabilize a little bit here. Definitely used to have a go. No trick in available for Guerreras. Full poly, ring of fire, G pie. You got yourself a setup. Do you have any follow-up damage though? Try to go for a kick. Does not quite connect. Knocking him through a ring of fire. Literally backpedaling into victory right now. What is this? Silence on a Jaina. Can't really do much right now. Blink it away. Full stun by the DK with an AMS. I think it's lights, man. I think it's lights. Dusty reverse blink. 
Shields are available. Alter is not barely any help to work with. Alter and right time actually able to reposition at the very least. Trying to make some damage happen. Seal super, super low. Got himself one more counter raise. If you have any damage during this counter raise, maybe you can somehow make a comeback here. At least maybe take him down blind for Goeris. The frost does quell the fire by the looks of it. But Triple Polly is just looking to turn the heat or even further down literally below zero freeze the situation taking down the frost dk when he has barely any health to work with any defense to work with and elena needs to go up against probably one of the strongest frost majors on eu that i've ever seen brett does not quite connect fade for elena for a second but does not last long at all unless they don't have that fade to immune damage or uh, dodge abilities big ray of frost oh that is so much damage. Silence the Fallen has to play defensively. Maybe look at the Disperse right now. Disperse may be a good button to use. Set on to triple. He does drink it out of it. Still lots of flurries. That's a lot of damage. I think the Disperse might have to be the play. Does go for Disperse. Yeah, that's a lot of damage out of triple poly. This man is not going to give you a chance to catch a breather. If you, you bet also never PI around this guy. I feel like you just might have to hold on to that PI for the entire game, honestly. This is going to be a knockback freeze with the ring of frost bomb trying to go for a stun. Yeah, you can't trink it. I don't know if you, yeah, even if you trink it, I don't even know if you have enough health to really survive it. Tama trying to see if you can play around with triple poly. Frost versus frost. This is an opportunity for Tama to establish our frosty dominance. Look at this 700k Lancer, dude. They are busted. It is ridiculous. I don't disagree. They're very, very strong. They've been there for frost mages quite a bit. I don't disagree. They're very strong. But. Comparing like <laughs> earlier, I was like, yo, Feral Druid definitely is a top tier. What do you want spec? I still stand by that. Frost Mage is definitely up there, but Feral Druid, I think, is a whole nother beast. I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm telling you. Tama with a trick and time to go for a kick. Knock back immediately for Triple Poly. And Tama's got some cooldowns, but Triple Poly is avoiding. Actually, he's got some cooldowns of his own. Charging him. Get himself a couple of blasts here and there. That's going to be Tama trying to see if he can reverse it back towards the pillar. Trying to go for a Poly. Interrupt by Triple Poly. And he's got himself full rare frost. Blink it back with a shatter. I block for Tama. Looking for that recovery. Oh my god, dude. The mage duels right now. The battle of the wizards. Which one is going to come out on top? Tama's got the more wizardry attire, so I imagine he's probably should if it's just a mock competition. But Triple Poly also got more of this Kieran Tor look, so Odyssey, either way it goes. Triple Poly able to stay ahead of Tama, though, and I think that's what secures him the victory. Just that raw mobility, just raw aggression, putting it all out there. That was so good. Oh my, between him and Jada, dude, mages are absolutely wild. Also, what is that healing for mage? Oh, Jada? I gotta look at that. Hold on a second. I take specs a lot of duels. Well, I mean, we allow mages on duels, so I guess. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> Alright, let's get another one going.